this video I'm going to show you how to play the harmony for this Bach menuet in G major. I play this performance with my student Jane Gregory from Wales. And in this video we're going to specifically look at the harmony. And what makes this special is it plays very well on both the octave mandolin and the mandolin. And I'm going to show you how to do both of the different versions. My name is Magnus Sedlun and I help mandolin players just like you get to the next level. If you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe because we have new videos like this coming out every week. Also hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. To simplify the learning, you find in Mandolin Secrets Academy, you find the sheet music and tabs for this lesson and all the other lessons here at the, the channel. Also play along tracks and things like that. So check it out. You'll find it at mandolinsecrets.com forward slash academy. Put a link to the description below. Yeah, so Jane is playing the melody here and I'm, I'm playing the harmony. I even made this harmony myself. And um, well, I think it's a arrangement that suits the mandolin quite well. And here's how we're gonna do it. Let's listen to it once, the entire piece, when me and Jane plays it. Then I'm gonna, gonna break it down, play it slowly for you. Then we bring it up to speed again. But here we go, here's the performance video. One, two, three, two, two, three. <laughs> Yeah, there you got it. I want you to get the music in your head before starting to learn the, the harmony by itself. The harmony can stand alone as an its own melody, but it's really made to to um, what is it? make it like an accompaniment or harmony for the actual melody. It's using some counterpoint ideas, some chord things, and also some. Um, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're like following like a parallel harmony movement. Uh, I'm gonna play it slow here so you can see all the details coming. I'm doing it on the mandolin, but I'm doing it... I'm playing the same thing on the octave mandolin. It's only the fingerings for the fretting hand that it's changing. I will also show you the small differences there, but first listen to the slow uh, playthrough on the mandolin.
yes, it's pretty straightforward. You got also uh, all the notation, picking directions, things like that in the tabs and the PDF, so if you're following along. But I want to point out a few like fingering uh, variations for the mandolin and the octa mandolin. So or already in the, the first bars here, it sounds like this. So in bar three, I'm, I'm kind of using like the standard uh, mandolin fingering. But for that C chord there in bar three, I'm using. So I'm, when I'm going from bar two. And then, I mean, it's, it's, I don't think it's anything complicated at all with the fingerings. It's just, I can see it very clearly in the video that I'm playing there. But I'm also going to show you the same passage on the octave mandolin. So I'm still in bar number one to three, it looks like this. So it's pretty the same thing going on, but for the octave main, I'm using like my pinky for the fifth fret. Like that. But right here, so the same C with my second and third finger. You can see there I'm back again to the, the ordinary octave mandolin fingering. Yes, and talking about the octave mandolin, now let's listen to the harmony in its entire form. Here it's at the speed of 130 beats per minute, just like we perform it, but I'm now playing it on the octa mandolin. And feel free to play along with the slow or the, the fast version in, in either one of the instruments, because it will fit, yeah, it will fit fine, just uh, for both um, instruments. So here we go, the, um, at 130 with the octa mandolin. Okay, my friend, there you got it. And it's the same thing for playing the harmony for a classical piece. It's always good to know the melody, even if you want to play the harmony, because it, it helps with the phrasing and will get an understanding of, of, um, of the ideas better. So also, my recommendation, also learn the melody lesson. It's published already, so go check that out. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and we would also be very glad to hear do you enjoy playing um, Bach pieces on the mandolin and how do you feel about this duo arrangement, playing a harmony for it, something you're enjoying, something you want to see more of. Please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in a new video soon.